Genesis 17 we learned that the impotent is no match for the omnipotent. Abraham laughed in Genesis <laughs> chapter 17 at the very thought that he and his wife in their old age could have a son. Now in Genesis chapter 18, Sarah also laughs. <laughs> God responds rhetorically in Genesis 18 verse 14 by asking, Is anything too hard for the Lord? That's the King James Version. However, in the New Revised Standard Version, it translates it this way. Is anything too wonderful for the Lord? The word hard and wonderful in these translations stem from the same root in the Hebrew. And so what is hard for you now will be wonderful once you have achieved it. With God in the picture, fantasy becomes reality. That's the very sentiments of one of my favourite verses. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says, Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. I'm Pastor B. And this has been Just a Minute.